Sound design is all the ambiences, the creatures, and the environment, things in the world that make sense. Learning really to tell the story with the sounds that happen and all the things that those sounds imply. Sounds are really good at evoking feelings in ways that I don't think are directly literal. You can't directly translate them. And that's a great way to add mystery to things. A lot of the creatures and monsters don't have real world analogs, obviously. So I have to think of ways to relate them to the player playing through the game and figuring out how, how to react. One of the major features of the game is world shifting. And we've started adding layers and layers of sounds based on metal movements, but very much abstracted into a way that is uh, not, not quite earthly and not quite literal. It really gives us a sort of evocative mystery about what these movements mean and what they signify. environments in the game have, have real-world uh, equivalents, but we're, we want them to be different in a way that uh, doesn't make you feel like you're on Earth anywhere. One really interesting example of finding a, a weird sound somewhere in the middle of kind of something else was being on vacation in at a hotel room. I was taking a shower and mo moved it around and heard this really elaborate creak and thought, that actually sounds really interesting. So I said, I'm gonna be in the bathroom recording the shower for two minutes um, and just you know started rolling and then started playing with, around with it. Um, and that is actually being used for one of the major characters in the game. As you record things, you're always recording actually moments of your life, really. Through the years, you have a sort of a library of things, and then when you put them back in, it somehow evokes those memories and injects a little bit of your life into something like that. My name is Ko Chun Hu, and I'm the sound designer for Hob. PlayStation.